All right, y'all. So my wife got me a Christmas gift. Y'all see this VR75? Got the black one. Uh, the line capacity is crazy. Let's see if y'all can see it right here. Hold up. Okay, the line capacity for a 20 pound braid is 430 yards and 39 inches of return. It only weighs nine ounces. It's a lot lighter than this 150 right here. A lot lighter than this. But I was gonna buy the VR50. Put this thing right here. It's pretty nice. I'm not even gonna lie, it's pretty, it's pretty nice. But there's no point in, I already had the VR50, but there's no point in buying the VR50. Hold on, you guys. Alrighty, lock this thing up real quick. Put down more. Yep, but there was no point in buying the VR50 when the VR75 was coming out. Because I had two VR50s. I had the black one. And the silver one. There we go. And honestly, let me turn this thing up now since you guys seen it. And honestly, if you ask me, I mean, if you already have the VR50, I don't think you should buy this. Cause I mean, it's not really a big difference. Like the spool is literally like slightly bigger. It just it holds a lot more line. And if you have the, I wish I had the other reel, but if you if you look at these right here, this is the, the VR150. The black VR150 and the black VR125, like you could actually see the difference. It's actually a big difference, but with the, the VR75 and the VR50, it's literally like, you have to hold them like, you would have to hold them like this to see the spool. And honestly, like I said before, if you got the VR50, I wouldn't, but I mean, it's your money, so you do what you want. But I mean, if I can get more line, so when I hook tarpons and permit or whatever, I feel a lot more comfortable. Oh, and uh, the clicker sounds a lot different. Like, listen to this. That thing sounds like really loud. But on this, I mean, I don't know if you guys probably can hear the difference. You probably could. But that's literally the only thing different I noticed. Like with the, the VR75. What up, you guys? Yeah, there's really not a huge difference like i wish i had the vr50 with me so i could show you like it's really not a difference like you will literally have to hold it like this it's kind of like holding two quarters next to each other and maybe one of the quarter is bent or something like it's not really bigger i mean i don't know i guess it might be like a slightly bigger this is the spool might be deeper. I don't know, but hey, it's your money. You do what you want. I like it. Like if these would have never came out, I would have got another VR50. But it comes with this thing right here, um, and it also comes with. Yeah, he fell off the couch. Hey, Landon. And it comes with the bellless kit. I think that's pretty cool. Huh? Yeah, but I'm gonna put this on my uh, my seven nine flipping stick that I got from Moho. Hey. Please. What? Get a horn. What? Hold it.
Well, yep, you guys. I mean, if you really want this reel, if you don't have the VR50, I would definitely buy this reel. Because, I mean, they're the same price. You just get more lines. So, I mean, like, that would be crazy to not buy this. And they're literally identical. It's just the school is, like, barely notice noticeably bigger. What? Do you want to explain it? Yeah. What he was trying to say was, if you already have the VR50, save your money. Unless you're going to sell your VR50 and buy this, then do it. But I mean, everybody has their uh, their preference and reels or whatnot. But Dad. Son, you're going to stop the video. Stop the video? No, he's about to stop the video. No. Don't, don't stop the video. Yeah, so all van stalls come with these. Come with the bailless kit and your wrench. I don't even know where I put that thing. Oh, and it comes with the wrench that you take the spool off. And I mean, if you guys are, let me just show you guys. For some people that don't own van stalls and want to buy a van stall, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Hold on, son. All right. You see that this little plate right here that's what this is for put it on there turn it and then you just take this off if you want to do the bailless kit or whatnot but that's that's what all of that thing is for or if you want to take the little weight off and make the bailless kit but if not don't take it off if you don't know what you're doing youtube it that's exactly what i did but yeah this is just the unboxing because the VR50, I forgot, I can't remember um, how many inches per turn it gets, but this one just get 39. It's still 25 pounds of drag, but this one just holds more line. That's the only advantage. It just holds more line. So if you already got the VR50, I think you can change the spool. So I would just buy this uh, VR75 spool if you already have the second generation VR50. But... I mean, if you already got it, the VR50, I wouldn't buy the VR75, like I said before already, like 10 times. But if you don't, buy this one. Because this is more line. Okay, so I need to put this in a video so everybody can know about this. So uh, with the new van stalls I've seen on iCast, um, Craig from Van Stall, he said that all the new van stalls have the VS seals. And... If that's true, you know, I'm not too deep into like breaking the van stall apart and all that. All I know is the thing worked forever. Like it never fails on me. So if that's true and I got the new VR75, honestly, if you ask me, I feel like you should buy the 75 if you don't have the VR50. Because when, I, when you hold them like next to each other, one, like the VR75 is slightly bigger. It's not even really like that noticeable if you like, it's not a really big difference how the 125 and the 150 is, but with more line, more inches per turn, I mean, better seals, shoot, man, buy it. Can't, I can't really tell you not to buy it because that'd be stupid of me because I wanted it, so. But if you got the second generation VR50, I wouldn't buy it. I think you can change the spools. I'm not sure if you looked that up, don't quote me on that. But I just had to put that in there for you guys uh, so you guys can be informed about the new reels. And anything that you don't know, it's on iCast. I mean, I'm just telling y'all for what I know, what I read, so hey. All right, y'all. So a lot of people be asking me this in my videos. I know this is pretty random, but I only use 20 pound Invisibraid. It's called Spider Wire Ultracast. Only use 20 pound for everything. But I have 30 pound on that one because when I tried to go get 20 pound, they were out. And that's my, that's just my jigging reel. So, I mean, keep 30 pound on there. So, I mean, that'd be ideal for jigging. Never know what you hook, tarpon, shoot, sharks, whatever. But I only use 20 pound Invisibrate, like for everything, jigging, 
And this is my go-to rod right here. A lot of people be asking me what rod I use right here. Just keep it right here for a little minute so you guys can see exactly what it is. The, the FP937 MHX7920-40. They say this was a bass rod. Man, I gotta clean these things. These are supposed to be black. But so much salt. But anyway, yeah, man. And my friend Vinny custom this rod. But yeah, man. This is just the unboxing to let you guys know. I mean, it's the exact same thing as the VR50, except for like a slightly, a slightly bigger spool. Honestly, when you hold them like next to each other, they don't look too much different. I guess I just think the spool is probably just deeper. But yeah, if you don't have the um VR50, I suggest you get the VR75, the same price. This one just hold more line. Yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on this reel. I mean, it's small as heck. Just like I said, it's the same thing as the VR50 if you guys own one. I paid $545 for this reel, like after tax. Uh, with the line, I want to say the line was like 30 bucks in because I got a decent amount of backing. And then I told him to put the rest uh, braid. But hey, man, that's all I got. Hope you guys enjoyed the video on this unboxing of the VR75. Uh, I'm going to be using this tomorrow. Um, hopefully, I get a video put up for you guys. But this one is going up tomorrow. And Thanksgiving was yesterday. So happy late Thanksgiving to everybody. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, click subscribe. And if you are already subscribed to my channel, stay tuned for the next video. But that's all I got for y'all. Oh. Like I said before, this was a Christmas gift from my wife, but she let me use it already because she knew I was dying to use it. I guess we grown. I guess we just going to put certain gifts for her sister and my son under the Christmas tree and our gifts. We just going to give them to each other and we're going to put like a few of our gifts under the tree. But the gifts that we know we're going to use the most. I mean, she knew I was dying to uh, fish with this thing, so. Hey, stay tuned for the next video, y'all.